The Mazda Miata is one of our favorite sports cars in the market today. It's fun to drive, it's affordable, and it's adorable too. So when Mazda invited us to get behind the wheel of the 2024 Miata, we couldn't say no. There aren't many visual changes to the 2024 model. The daytime running lights are now LED, and the LED taillights have a deeper design. But that's as far as exterior changes go. Inside, there's a larger 8.8 inch display that works only as a touchscreen when you use Apple CarPlay. The only mechanical changes are a new electronic steering rack, and club and grand touring models get a new limited slip differential designed in-house by Mazda. We are here in the Canyon Roads of Los Angeles. We're gonna take the new Miata for a spin and tell you all about it. Right off the bat, you feel the changes that Mazda made to the new Miata. First thing, it's a steering. I remember that before the steering, you made very small inputs and the whole car can like move side to side. Now with this new steering rack, everything is a lot more settled and a lot more progressive. It just has still that great feeling behind the wheel, but now you can take the turns with a little bit more ease and it's a little bit more predictable than before. Even on the tight turns like that one that I just made, it's still, the body is really well controlled. And uh, you know, it doesn't matter how tight the turn is, you'll get a very, very good chassis response. I like everything about this powertrain. The six speed transmission has very short throws and uh, also the, pe the clutch pedal has very short travel too. So it makes it a little bit more agile and just very easy to drive too. You know, you're always downshifting to get a little bit more power on the hill climbs and hear this engine noise in this very loud cabin. But who cares? This is a sports car. It's, you know, it's a type of car that you want to be hearing the roar of the engine all the time. We all know the Miata isn't a numbers car and that has a change for the updated model. A 2.0 liter engine with 181 horsepower and 151 pound-feet of torque sends all that power to the rear wheels via a six-speed manual transmission. The Brembo brakes that we have on this car are also really good. This was a nice addition to the Miata a few years ago because they, they do provide a lot of very good bites and it's very predictable as well. Of course, the RF Miata, the hardtop Miata, is a little bit more heavy than the soft top. But, you know, at the same time, it provides a little bit more of a quieter cabin. And then the look of it, it's pretty cool. And then of course you can just, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to take the top off with your hand. You can just push a button and it will do it. But I think overall, the RS still looks fantastic. Now, besides how fun it is to drive, there is one thing that I just don't like too much. It's how tight the cabin is. It's just, it's, I feel very cramped in here. I, I'm a six foot tall guy and you know, it's just, it's just a tiny cabin. I mean, at the same time, this is what makes this car so much fun. It's small, it's lightweight. So all of that, you know, it's, it's part of the recipe for success, but at the same time, there's not a lot of comfort amenities here. So what's impressive is how fun to drive this car is. And all the updates that Mazda made to the 2024 Miata, man, they are really paying off. Overall, the changes to the 2024 Miata are small, but behind the wheel, they make a big difference. And more than anything, I'm so happy that there is still a Miata around today. I'm gonna keep driving, but I'll catch you later at motortrend.com.